Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. This is Nick Bates here, ready to show you guys some order system tips. So if we go into the order system under the work order section, um, and we're just scheduling work down here. If you manually select um, this document right here and go up to related event type, notice how you have a list of all of your events. So you guys may not be using every event in your work order system or in your workflow configuration. So if we close out of here and we also go to this equipment um, finder icon, we have that same list. Now, if we close out of that and go to this little black arrow right here and click on that, you have a different list um, or at least a different uh, looking list of all of these different events. So how do we maintain those, um, making sure that they're the same? So if we go into the workflow configuration executable, we open that up. Inside of here, um, Right here, I have the uh, navigator selected. You have all of the different events uh, that are in the system and whether they're enabled or not. So even if I disable this event, it's still going to show in that dropdown list in the order system. So we actually need to go into charges and down here we have show when selecting event types for scheduled work and show when selecting event type for charge items. So those are the two checkboxes that we have to uncheck for the selected event that we don't want it to show up for. So if I uncheck these, hit save, and go back into the order system, let's always reload all settings, You will now notice that if I go in here, I do not have calibration multi. And because we disabled it, it doesn't show in this list here. So now um, the, the last tip that I'm going to show you guys is how do you create these sort of uh, drop downs or uh, group names. Uh, so if we go back into um, the workflow configuration, and we go to step five, miscellaneous. We have a menu group. Let me bring this over to where you guys can see it. We have a menu group, and you just create that name right there under the event, and then it'll put it into that menu group name. And that is how, when we go to events, you have all of these. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.